Good morning, YouTube. Uh, it's the end of March, and last night it got down to about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. This is no way to start spring, and it's very chilly this morning. Um, just an update the uh, uh, on the work on the house. Uh, we're getting ready for the framing inspection, and as you can see... Uh, cleaned out most of the tools uh, and organized everything so when the inspector shows up uh, early next week uh, they can step in uh, take a look at everything that they need to see and give me the okay to put the OSB sheeting on the outside uh, and hopefully get this uh, project as far as the uh, building permit is concerned put to bed once the OSB is outside they need to uh, inspect it one more time and then we'll be done uh, this video is actually about uh, some more work on the bathtub and getting that squared away. Uh, the bathtub, if you'll remember, has been raised about five inches above the floor and that is to allow the drain pipes uh, to sit uh, proud of the floor so that uh, I don't have to put a notch in uh, any of the floor joists that I spent repairing. But there are issues with that. Uh, this front edge obviously is designed to support some of the weight of the tub um, and so right now it's just kind of hanging out here in space there are four little feet in the bathtub there's about one back here there's another one over here there's another foot underneath here but the foot over here is is right about here because as the tub begins to angle in uh, and, and slope down towards the drain, uh, that's the only place they could put the foot. Now, the problem, of course, is that leaves this corner right here unsupported uh, underneath. Now, there is a 2x4, exactly like this one, there is a 2x4 that's nailed below this edge behind the tub, supporting from about here all the way over to here there's another one right here the foot back here takes care of this corner so this corner is kind of unsupported now that's not necessarily uh, too big of a deal because when the concrete backer board goes back on this pretend this is concrete backer board the concrete backer board will sit flush with the tub edge down here as so and there'll be enough weight back here and enough force from the concrete backer board to keep this end right here from tilting forward. Still, if somebody stands on this corner to get up here to the shower head or adjust the curtain or whatever, uh, that puts a bit of undue stress. So, in order to combat that and to make sure that there's no wobbling or anything else, yesterday, when I was in the garage manufacturing, these are homemade, these little protector plates, the big six inch protector plates for the three inch PVC pipe. This is a uh, store bought protector plate for plumbing. You can see a store bought one here, and I use the store bought ones here. But these long ones I had to manufacture. While I was doing the, uh, the metal work, <coughs> I decided to see if I couldn't build a support on this front corner of the tub for these two 2x4s two so that this corner of the tub could have some support and uh, uh, prevent it from tipping forward. And this is what I came up with. There we go. Has yet to be painted on the back side, but uh, this is basically quarter inch plate steel. Uh, it's actually scrap left over from the uh, uh, it's actually scrap left over from the, uh, the screw jack build. Um, but basically what I've done is I've managed to make it so that a 2x4 fits well that one may have to be bent a little bit this one over here fits fine and what I'll do is I will put that back in here and then the edge of that plate will sit right underneath the lip of the front tub and we'll have one here and we'll have one here and that'll give the support to the corner so that if anybody stands on that uh, it won't rock and sway and if you take a look see 
it's got it's got four holes a hole a hole a hole a hole for screws and well maybe you can see it from the back side there um, see it's got holes drilled in it I still have to paint the back sides but uh, uh, I'm going to head into the garage and do that now and I figured I'd just give the walkthrough on those before I got them all sticky again with paint and couldn't play with them for another a day or so anywho that's an update on the tub and hopefully on Monday we'll have the framing inspection done uh, just to kind of give a view of what the room looks like with no stuff in it no stuff in it looks like a room with no stuff in it it took almost a whole day yesterday to get everything organized put away, vacuumed, cleaned, I also cleaned the carpet from all the insulation goop that had been on there anywho that's the update thanks till next time